The internet can be an incredible resource, but only if you know how to find what you're looking for. That's what search engines are for. These programs basically search for a certain word or phrase and return a list of web pages where those keywords were found. You can use a search engine to look up pretty much anything you want. Any word you can think of, you can search for, and you can even search for images. Using a search engine is relatively simple. You can go to any search page, type in what you want to find, and you'll get back a list of sites that match your keyword request. So, how do you find the sites you want? Basically, we are looking at two main types of search sites, web directories like Yahoo and search engines like Google. Let's first look at a web directory. If you take a second to think of how a library is organized, it will give you an idea of how a web directory is structured. Just like a library, books are organized into different categories, like fiction or nonfiction, and then into subcategories like science or English or biology. The books are arranged according to specific authors or topics. Web directories structure information in a similar way. Each category is broken down into specific subcategories until you reach the subject you're looking for. For example, if I were researching kangaroos on the web directory yahoo.com, I might first click on science, then animals, and then mammals, and finally I would select the listings for kangaroos. The directory then gives me a list of several sites about kangaroos, as well as a description of what each site is like. Once a URL is listed that specifically deals with kangaroos, I can click on the link to visit that website. All websites in the web directory are reviewed and approved by humans. The creator of the website submits the website URL. Then, the web directory staff reviews each submission and approves or disapproves the submission based on certain criteria, similar to how a librarian selects books at a library. Due to this thorough selection process, the links you'll find in the directory are usually very relevant to your chosen topic. This can be a big feature, since you won't have to dig through stuff that is just barely related to what you want, like, say, an old Swedish progressive rock band called The Kangaroos. The flip side of this is that by using a web directory, you are only accessing a small portion of the World Wide Web. Therefore, your selection is smaller. A search engine, like Google.com, however, searches the web using an automated computer program. There are no humans involved in the selection process when you use a search engine. The benefit of this is that the search is much broader, finding websites that meet your criteria from all over the ever-expanding World Wide Web. This definitely increases the range and number of hits. The most popular search engine, Google, utilizes a special software called Spiders. Spiders are specifically programmed to crawl from website to website. The spider quickly moves from link to link, searching for sites that match your search criteria. Spiders can look through over 100 web pages per second. For tracking purposes, the spider reads through each individual page, keeping a record of all the words on the page. Then, the spider automatically organizes the websites it finds by placing them into a gigantic database. This saves a lot of time when future searches are conducted, because the spider then refers back to the database to pull up websites that were found when the same search criteria was conducted on an earlier date. With the many demands Internet users place on search engine companies like Google, it is necessary to have many spiders searching 24 hours a day. Two benefits to using a search engine are that they offer many more websites on your chosen topic, and you are more likely to pull up the most recent websites on your topic. 
It can also help you stumble across that Swedish rock band, which might turn out to be a great band, but isn't the information you were after. All of that tangential information is the downside of the search engine. The good news is that there are some tricks to avoid such a general search return. Adding information to narrow your search with commas or by using the plus sign can get more specific results. For instance, try kangaroo plus Australia plus mammal to narrow down the website returns. Typing kangaroo comma Australia comma mammal would give you the same results. Adding those two extra words eliminates some of the websites that are not related to your search. Goodbye, Progressive Rock. Now, you get fewer sites and ones that are better tailored to your needs. Another trick is to use quotation marks. If you type two words into the search field, the engine will search for these words with equal weight and anywhere on the page. But, if you put those words in quotes, it only searches for instances of those words together. This can be especially helpful when searching for names. Without the quotes, you might just find two unrelated names on a list, but with the quotes, you'll find just the name you're looking for. Another way to search the web is with a meta search engine like Vivisimo. A meta search engine uses other search engines to cast as wide a net as possible and then classifies the results. Vivisimo takes the summaries that are produced by other search engines, what you would read in a list from Google, for instance, and then groups the pages according to terms that the algorithm deems descriptive, kind of like you might see on Yahoo. Users can choose from several search engines, including Google, AltaVista, and Hotbot. The user is effectively using a combination of many search engines at once to optimize web searching. Once you spend some time using web directories, search engines, or meta search engines, you quickly learn all the tricks to making your searches refined and effective. This makes it easier to find what you need and more fun to find what you want.